Hey guys, Darth Thork here, back with part 30 of our Skyrim Remastered playthrough. So, uh, last time, we tracked down the traitor Mercer Frey, and we killed his stupid, treacherous butt. So that was awesome. It was also the quickest battle ever. I've never seen him die so fast. Anyway, so that was cool. And, uh, and then we, we did some main story stuff, and that's what happened. So, uh, this time we'll probably be more of the same. We might be pursuing main story a little bit heavier. Um, and, uh, yeah, more or less, most likely. Anyway, uh, so first of all, the time of recording this is Monday, so happy Monday. Hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. Now, obviously, this week for recording schedule is going to be a little bit crazy because it is uh, Christmas. Um, and because it is Christmas, so obviously I won't be recording tomorrow, Tuesday, Christmas Eve, or Wednesday, Christmas Day. Um, and now the, the last half of the week, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I might be able to record. I'm hopeful at least Friday, Saturday, but we'll, it's kind of up in the air a little bit, so we'll just more or less have to see what happens. Uh, but I am hopeful that I will be able to record the ending half of the week. Um, anyway, so as far as announcements go, uh, a couple things. First thing, uh, there is some new content coming to my channel. Um, now it's the the announcement's big enough that it's actually going to get its own video. Um, I am not going to spoil anything yet, uh, but I'm hoping over the break that I'll be able to get more done uh, on on that little project so I can announce it and so I can actually get a video out on it fairly soon. So that's pretty exciting. Um, the uh, the second announcement that I have is I redid my positive anime review stuff. Uh, all of my score cards look different now. I got new pictures, and those look really cool. Really cool. It'll honestly just be nice just to see some new pictures uh, for scores and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Um, but then the, the even the better one is the fact that I changed the intro. Uh, all the intro is updated, and the intro is a lot better. I really really am happy with with the new intro, and so hopefully you guys can enjoy that as. As well and so the next time I do a positive anime review you will be able to check that out which will be pretty sweet anyway so the other thing is uh I don't know when I'm gonna get these out because I'm probably not gonna try to rush these out for Monday uh, I'm my goal is to get out this and this part from Saints Row today uh, before Christmas um, but I'm but otherwise I'm not gonna be too crazy about it um, so I don't totally believe that these will get out today Monday uh, but maybe maybe sometime during Christmas Eve and maybe even Christmas Eve night we'll have to see uh, anyway we'll have to see but uh, I'm not gonna rush these out for Monday or anything but the goal is to get them out before Christmas so hopefully you're seeing this before Christmas anyway uh, I think that's everything business wise so let's just go ahead and hop right into it so let's see here I'm all I'm all uh, thinking of other controls let's see all right are we all sorted I think we are yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. All right. Well, let's go find some trouble, man. Let's go figure out what we are going to do. So we're level thirty-nine. We're killing it. We are wearing the ethereal crown, which will help us level up even, which will help us level up, which is awesome. And uh, it is going well. Now we will probably be switching armor soon. I am not sure what we'll be, we will be switching to, but we'll probably be switching to something. Just because we've been wearing this a long time. So, we've been wearing it a long time. And I do like the armor, but uh, I also like switching armors a lot. So, I don't know if we'll go straight to a cornered rat. Or if we'll go look at something else. Let's see. And where is this word of power? Obviously, it's not the one at Riften. Let's see here. Up to the left. Over there. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and go do that then. Let's go find a new word of power, shall we? Uh oh. Whoa! Take this, you stupid cat. Yeah, you like that, pal? Alright, so obviously it's dark. I waited till dark because uh, I spawned in at the, at the Lover Stone. And uh, I was just like, you know, if, I might as well just wait until darkness. It'll be easier. Anyway, so there is an Imperial camp up here. So I'm thinking let's go Vampire Lord on the way over here and let's massacre some Imperials. Because uh, it'll be free experience. It's free real estate. Uh, now the question is, let's see. Eh, I'm trying to feel like if I need if I need to go this way, or if we can get away with going this way without, you know. I wonder if we'll still be able to easily get to the word of power that we're going for if we go this way. But I think we'll be able to. Hopefully that's true. Okay. Uh, vampire lord, vampire lord. Oh, there's also something coming up. Ow! 
Ow! You stupid cultists! Punks? Anyway. Uh, alright. Moving on. Over here. Thank you, Mr. Goat. Just murdering goats. Pew! Pew! Nailed it. Incoming. He's essential. Nothing, nothing I can actually do, but, uh... Oop. There we go. Hey, Vampire Lord perk available. Okay, let's see. Ooh, I actually have two perks. So this one is in combat, you're surrounded by a cloud of bats that feed on enemies within melee range. Yeah. Beautiful. So there's that. So there's Vampire Grip. Can conjure a gargoyle. Target is paralyzed. And then this one is detect all creatures. Let's see, everything around you slow. Yeah, I like that idea. Let's go up this way. Detect all creatures added. Ah, oh, you can hear the sound of bats. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, you can even see them flying around me. That, that's that's cool. Yes, my little bats protect me. All right, anyway, let's go ahead and revert form here so we can loot all of their steel arrows, and then we'll go up loot those cultists on the way out, which makes sense. Which makes sense. Well, that went well, I would say. Let's see, these guys are all going to be carrying steel arrows, so... That's obviously a good thing. Tiny bit of gold, but obviously the gold isn't as big an issue. Although, we were talking last episode that uh, it is a good idea. Uh, that makes sense. I was about to say, I think I accidentally shot one of these guys while they were sleeping. Anyway, but uh, it makes sense to get much gold as possible because then we can buy uh, people to, to train us. And at our level, that'll take a lot of gold, So, it, but it's actually a good thing because then it gives us a big reason to, you know, get more gold. So now getting more gold matters a lot, which makes sense. Take all those. All right, so there's that dude. I like to say he just forgets what happened. Wow, there was some crazy stuff in there. I don't need steel plate boots. All right, I feel like that's 90% of them. Oh, hang on. I almost missed you. Well, the good news is we got like over a hundred steel arrows back there, so that's great. Okay, other thing is on the way out. Uh, ooh, he did have some goat horns. It's just a rando imperial sword. Is this a different soldier? No, it's. I think it's the one from way over there. I think his sword just flew really, really far. Okay, so the cultists should be on this hill, assuming they didn't despawn. I was about to say, but this game's this game is pretty good about guys not despawning. So, they are still over here. Uh, nothing good for him. Nothing, nothing really all that good for him. And then you are the final... Oh, this is an orc hunter. He's not even the one I was looking for. And he only has steel or er iron arrows. Ew. Oh, there's another orc hunter. Interesting. Wonder what their story is. Ah, there's the third one. I guess I'll take those. Soul Trap. That's cool. Soul Trap. Okay. Anyway, nice. Now we can actually move towards our actual objective, which is getting that word of power. But obviously that was worth it because we got a lot of uh, we got a lot of steel arrows back there. So and we got and we leveled up twice for our vampire, which is awesome. So lots of good stuff, completely worth it. Look at look how pretty the sky is today, man. That's awesome. I love like the whole like northern lights thing going on at night sometimes when that happens. Oh, I love it. It's so pretty. Here we are. Holy freaking crap. Look how big this dungeon is. Rag Ragnvald? Ragnvald? I don't know if you're not supposed to pronounce pieces of it or not. Ah, Restless Draugr. You want some of this, Draugr boy? Come here. 
I want to level up. <laughs> Whiff. I want to level up my two-handed anyway. Take that. Thanks for the gold. I was, I was about to say, you better make it count. And he didn't. <laughs> my armor kills him. Lols. You know, at this point, we, uh, we've actually picked up enough... Uh, uh, Ancient Nord arrows. We could probably get away with switching our steel arrows to Ancient Nord. We probably have an absolute truck ton of them. They, uh, Ancient Nord and steel do the same damage, so there would be no damage difference. Um, but just aesthetically, it would be cool to see Ancient Nord, an Ancient Nord quiver on our back. Just, you know, for funsies, it would be, it'd be different. It'd be pretty cool. Mostly just for a change of scenery, if nothing else. Depends on uh, what. It might depend on what heavy armor we find. Depending on what armor we find, might greatly differ. Might you know? Might greatly change what we uh, change what we switch to. We'll have to see how many ancient Nord arrows we have, but I'm willing to bet it'll be a lot. Okay, so there's probably one way down. Ah. Take those. Wonder if there's just gonna be Draugr down here? Probably. There might be more than just Draugr, but. Okay, so there's something that way. Ooh, a chest. With some gold! Always a good thing. Because, yeah, now, because the last episode we spent a whole bunch of gold and we got our archery up by five levels, which costed like freaking 15,000 gold. So, you know, that was rough. Uh, but it's a good reason to get gold now because now we want to be able to pay for merchants. Now we, uh, or, you know, pay for trainers. Now we won't always be leveling our two handed or our, uh, you know, our archery. The next trainer we could get could be heavy armor because I think Farkas and maybe Vilkas too trains heavy armor or two handed or something. So, you know, we have options. Sounds like they're back there. Oh, maybe that, maybe they're above me. It kind of sounds like they're above me. Well, well. What are this? What's this? What's this? There's trouble anywhere. What's this? That's why it's up in the air. Inspired! Alright, so there's one beneath me. Somewhere. And I see there's at least one over there. Ah. Well, here's this one. Wow. If that didn't count that as sneaking damage, I disagree. I disagree. You see the stagger every time. It didn't count that as sneaking damage. I disagree. But, you know, whatever. Uh, I guess I'll take a potion of health. Ancient, there, there's an iron helmet. No thanks. No, thank you. Silver ring. I'll always take that, though. Huh, someone's spine. I'll take that. No. Ooh, void salts. Ectoplasm. Fire salts. Those are actually good. Those are actually good. Another thing we should look up that w it would help us level, we, we should look up a potion for, like, anything. Like a healing potion, even if it's minor. You know, something like that. Because with all of our ingredients back at back at the house, that could be a good way of leveling our alchemy. Um, if we actually, you know, spent some time crafting some of that stuff, that could be a really good way to level our alchemy. Which would obviously help us level up, which would be sweet. Have to give, the, give that some thought. But saying, I'm thinking there's at least one Draugr around the corner here. I don't hear footsteps. Oh, there's one down there. There's one over there. Yeah, there you go. At least Lisa gave it to me that time. Let's see, and the other guy is not quite sure where I am. I bet you he's not going to suspect this. Oh, I wonder if I should actually... I wonder if I shouldn't jump down, because I don't know how hard it'll be to get back up. Is there stairs anywhere? 
Yeah, maybe jumping down is not a wise plan. I was gonna just hop down there and attack that dude, but... Alas. Okay, so that's probably how we'll exit this whole shindig. Okay, there is stairs right there. Alright, so we're good to go for our... Our sneaking strike plan. We're good. There we go. Nailed it. Bet you didn't expect that, did you, boy? Ooh. Some uh, high-level stuff in here, man. Little urn, little urn. Are you holding something? Ooh, you are. Gold! I'll take it. There's also a chest over here and a potion of healing. Extreme healing at that. Yeah, there's some pretty decent things in there. You know, soul gems actually are a little more helpful now because our nightingale bow takes uh, soul gems. Because it has all these enchantments on it. And it's not as it's not as uh, thirsty, so to speak, as... Uh, as um, it's not as... It doesn't take as many. It's it. You know, you can fire more shots before you need to refill. I think Ariel's bow is super sensitive. You fired like six shots and you needed to refill. Uh, but at least this one... You can fire a lot more than that because as you can see you could saw how many we have many we fired already and that's how little that's how that's how far we are so you know it's not quite as brutal uh, the sarcophagus has been locked shut it will require two items to open it interesting wonder what uh, what's up with that there's some uh, good stuff in these urns though Okay, so I'm willing to bet that these little side paths are going to be the way to go. Yeah, there we go. This looks like a, an alternative way. Now, does this... Okay, yeah, apart from the other side. Okay, I got you. So we'll probably have to go to each, you know, like like wing of this dungeon, so to speak. And then get two items to open the main chest. I wonder if there'll be a dragon priest at the end of this thing. I don't. I don't remember. This. It's all vague. It's like vaguely familiar, but I don't remember all the all the nitty gritty details. So there is walking. There's also an urn over there, which we totally can get with our whirlwind sprint. That sarcophagus is going to open for sure. All right. Uh, whirlwind sprint. I just want to see if they... Aha! You don't look very high level. You weren't. Oh, it's empty. What a troll. What a troll, man. It, like, lets you go over here and it's not... It doesn't even have anything inside it. Alright. No more of this hiding baby stuff. Boo! Let us fight! I am ready for war. Yeah, he just—he was just a regular dragger. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. Uh, nothing in there. Nothing in there. I was like, what? But I forgot that my arm, my armor just does that. I wonder which side. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. Nothing immediate. Nice and quiet, lack. All right, so there's one chilling over there. Where is my daggers? Might as well get some free sneak damage on these dudes. Ooh, to 93. Gasp. Restless Draugr. Restless Draugr. Regular Draugr. Ooh, you look fancier. Yeah, that was a Draugr Scourge. That's how you know your damage is good, when you can one-shot a Draugr Scourge with sneak damage. That's how you know. I'm trying to keep my eyes peeled for tripwires things like that. Oh, 
I almost didn't see you. Almost didn't see you. Some of these guys are bound to be awake, like any second. Oh, I hear footsteps. Aha! Hang on, his buddy didn't notice. Yeah, lead led the shot and everything. Draugr scourge, more like little baby Draugr. <laughs> Got him. Oh, I hear I hear more. There's probably another archer up there. No oh dear. Ooh! Yeah, epic dodge. You see that? You proud? I already have that skill book, by the way. Apparently. Alright, keep your eyes peeled for traps. I thought this pillar was a Draugr, like leaning against the wall. Like you see the bandits do sometimes. I was like, I have didn't know Draugr could do that. But merely a support pillar. Coffin. Coffin, get that boy some medicine. They're like, please don't ever say that again. You think that way is something important? That kind of looks like a main way, but then why would there be another way this way? Maybe one of these ways is an exit. This is this is probably the exit. Yeah, I think this is probably the how you get out of this dungeon the easy way. Yeah, temple, okay. I think the temple was the main thing, so possibly. So let's go this other way. Plus my objective is that way, and I think our objective is to like open the sarcophagus. Uh, find the source of power. Okay, so there we go. Now let's highlight that. So we, we weren't highlighting the one to open the sarcophagus. All right, let's give this a save. Most likely, as soon as we grab that thing, I've seen Indiana Jones. Most likely, as soon as we grab that thing, uh, everything's gonna kick off in this room. I'm willing to bet this is not gonna be something we can sneak our way through. I'm willing to bet that right there is gonna open up. Three shots. Lols. Lols. <laughs> I don't need to fight you guys up front. We also got our archery to 80. I think I think that was archery. How do you like that, huh? I don't even need to fight you guys. I can with sneak damage with my bow, I can three shot that Draugr. <laughs> and now he was like the big bad one. He was a he was a leader. I've got to bend somebody. I've got to bend a, con a, pretend a contender. Was that a contender or pretender? I think he had an ingot on him. Yeah, that was a guard. He was even a name to one, man. It's like, guardian, blah, 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 blah. And he got three-shotted. He never even saw his enemy. He didn't even know what was happening. All right, so we got the decorative thing we needed on this side. So let's go ahead and check these little side paths here before we, before we uh, you know, GTFO. I don't usually loot in third person. This is weird. All right, nothing crazy there. You guys want to see if we can make it just for fun? Nope. <laughs> no, we can't. I, I was really happy. I was really worried we were going to get stuck there for a minute. Oh, we already looted you. Okay. The good news is there's a lot of good stuff in here. Uh, okay. Beautiful. I bet, you that, I bet you that fight would be a lot crazier if you got detected and you had to fight your way up. Bet you that'd be a lot different, that's for sure. Okay. We're good to go. Yeah, I'm willing to bet that fight would be a lot different. Because you'd probably be, those, those, you know, Huey and Dewey would probably be shooting at you while you were having the up close and personal fight with that, with that other guy. It'd probably be quite the affair. Alright, so there is one of them. Okay, so that's where we just went in. So the other one will be over here in the middle. And then we might as well go put the skull in while we have it. Just because there's no reason not to. Hey. There's one. All right, other side. Will be the same thing, but it'll be over on this side. Probably. 
Yup. Over here. Canal. Okay, let's go get the second key. I'm assuming it's probably a skull. Oh, heavens. Okay. Uh, first of all, Saltair. Now then, let's give it a save, considering how well this has all gone so far. Yes, turn away, you fool. Take that, Mr. Scourge. Healing. Soul gem. Destruction. Alright, now this is looking really familiar. I know I've been here before. Think they hid anything? In the water? Maybe. It's just kind of sketch. Oh. I, I guess it also could be just water. A super secret way up. Also a dead dragger. And a chest. With a soul gem inside. This guy's gonna have no idea what hits him. And now! <laughs> 94 for our sneaking. I was about to say, I didn't pick up that sword, did I? I did doesn't look like it. I was like, ooh, an urn, but it's empty. Salt pile. Oh, I grabbed the stupid... I think I grabbed the embalming tool. Yep, don't need it. Oh, there's probably a guy on the second level. I was about to say, I think I hear things above me. I probably do. One thing at a time. It's a very skinny entrance. Any second, I'm waiting for like a Draugr Death Lord to be right around the corner. I'm just, I'm bracing myself. To be like, oh look, it's totally safe. And then there's just suddenly just like 12, you know, Death Lords. You're just like, oh jeez. <laughs> Any second, I'm just waiting for it. I can feel it in the force. So far so good. Nothing, nothing. Okay. What are this? Beautiful. Okay, so there's one of the things I need. The issue is what's gonna kick off when I grab it? Another guardian, but I'd prefer to know because we could probably snipe him out just like we did his, his, his friendos. Just like we did those other guys. Okay, there's a coffin over there at the end. There's a big main one. So that's probably what'll one of the things that'll open when it all kicks off. I'm not seeing anything too obvious below, so maybe it's just on the other side. So we'll save it before we actually grab anything, but... Uh, nailed it. Alright, nice and... nice and quiet. Alright, I was just listening for... Okay, so there's one on that side, one on that side, okay. So that's, that is what will happen, but our goal, of course, is to kill the big main bad one before anything too bad happens. But the good news is, the animation for climbing out of those coffins is really slow. Oh, he's not even nearly as tough as his buddy. Which is good, because I can't hit him. I hit him, but it didn't give me the sneak damage. Haha! <laughs> My armor killed you, boy! I also revived him with a, with soul tear. Actually, let's go ahead and grab my greatsword. There you go. After he, uh, you know, dies again, we will loot his body. It's funny, I used to give Serana so much garbage over that. And, uh, I'm kind of doing the same thing to myself. Also, just, did you notice that the Draugr have a beard? <laughs> I mean, obviously they're dead, but, you know. Despite the fact that they're dead, they have beard. I mean, not all of them. Some of them do. Okay. Beautiful. Well, we got what we needed, so now we can so now we can skedaddle. We'll just double check these urns. All right, follow me, guardian boy. I love that shout, though. It just sounds so cool. Oh, we're also going the wrong way. Come on, Draugr. Come on, pal. How do I get out of here? Okay, there we go. I know what we're doing. This way, follow me. 
He's just following. He's like, you know, I'm gonna be honest. Have not having a trouble believing you. Beautiful. And I even got to loot the body. Yeah, I just like Solitaire. It's just a fun shout being able to like one shot. Like obviously that one, he was a Draugr Scourge, so that's not exactly the lowest level. But we captured the soul, you know, which which is awesome. And obviously he got one shotted, so that's pretty cool. Knowing that you can still kind of one shot creatures of that magnitude. Ow. Well, unless you want to come down here and do something about it, pal. I'm not exactly sweating it. I don't know what that does. Well, well. This is why we have the skeleton key. And that was, e that was easy even if I didn't have it. Ooh. Sapphire ring? Uh, I already have ebony boots. You know you're getting high level when ebony boots don't excite you. There is an enemy over there, but, like, not exactly. I mean, unless he sh just shows himself nice and easy, I'm not going to stick around for him. I'm just trying to go third. Thank you. Hey, unless you do something about here, I'm leaving. All right, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. You're slow. I got a life to live. It's my life, and it's now or never. I ain't gonna live forever. He's like, come back. But what about what about me? He's like, yeah, what about you? You can tell the you can tell the story of what you saw here today. He's like, this one chick showed up and murdered all of us, everyone, literally everyone I know is dead again. Even though we're all you know, we're obviously already dead, but she killed us again. All right, I am willing to bet something really bad's gonna happen. So let's just get it out. You know, our dagger is like we're expecting the worst case scenario. Okay, and we are saved, so. The keys are in. Open the, open the chest. And. Yep! Dragon Priest! Wow, that was really lucky. <laughs> My, uh. That was easy. Alright, Otar. Resistance against fire, frost, and shock is improved. And Staff of the Storm Wall. Fancy. That's hysterical. He got one-shotted. That was awesome. That is so funny, too, because I was, like, expecting, like, World War Three, And alas, ooh, uh, even a cool dagger. Call to Arms, Storm Antronach, Gauntlets. I don't remember what I have, so we'll just take them. That is really funny. I was, like, expecting, like, you know, War of the Worlds out here, and my, uh, Mayroon's Razor one-shotted him. That is, that is really funny. Of all the times it was gonna strike, that was the time. That's that's awesome. Give me, give me, give me. Is anything good? Peace, kinds peace. Not really. <laughs> Not really. How many versions of things like that are there anyway? I feel like I get kinds peace like twelve times, even though obviously that's impossible. But it really feels like it. Now, obviously, it was worth coming here, obviously, because uh, we got lots of good stuff. Lots of good loot. We got a new shout, even if it's one I'm never gonna use. And, uh, we got, yeah, we got lots of good loot. We got, you know, pieces of armor, new weapons. We got another Dragon Priest mask, which is really, which is really cool. So, yeah, now we can, uh, run on home. I, I feel like I'm going the right way. So now we can run on home and drop off the loot, and then we can figure out what we're doing for realsies. Okay, here we are, home sweet home. Let's go ahead and drop off all of the goodies. We got a lot of good stuff there. All right, grab the sapphire ring. More rings there. A couple of those. Garnet. Do 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 do. Okay, that's about all that. Excuse me, drummer, drummer boy. She's like, I'm a woman. But like, yeah, but it with the reference was like, you know, the little drummer boy. Come on, it was good. And the drummer girl isn't a song; it's a drummer boy. And weapons. We got 97 Ancient Nord arrows back there. We also found some Dwarven arrows. Quest items. Trippy. I wonder what that's a quest item for. Well, it's locked in our uh, inventory now. Whatever it is. You know, it and like 12 of its best friends. I have so many like items that are marked as quest items stuck in my inventory. It's actually crazy. Uh, put all those in there. Anything extreme can be put in there. We can put those in there, those in there, that in there. And anything of those in there. 
Oh, hang on. Did that say 57 or 37? 37. Okay, well, that's fine. Oh, dang it. I keep, like, I keep noticing things right as I close it. We are carrying one too many magic potions. And isn't there scrolls? Yeah. And we do have some scrolls. I know they are already. Alright. Up here. So, soul gems. We are carrying a few excess soul gems. Um, so this is the ones we're carrying. We're carrying common ones. Filled with common soul. I don't know why this one... This one's marked as 50. These ones are all marked as 150. So I don't know what's up with that. We'll just put it away because it's... Outside the stack, we don't need anything greater. Lessers. We don't need those. We don't need petty. I do want to carry soul gems, of course, because it's, you know, we are using it, but I don't need to carry that many. Uh, nothing new book wise. Hang on a minute, lady. Uh, okay. Nothing new there. Books, nothing new there. Ingredients. Our hero, our hero. Is it this one? Yes. Put all those away. Okay, so she's singing my song, even though she gave me garbage earlier about... I'm like, hey, can you sing The Dragonborn Comes? And she's like, I suppose. And she just like... It's just funny, because she was like all, all pissed off that I requested it. I'll be like, I am paying you. It's your job to sing. Like, why are you upset that I actually requested a song for a change? Okay, so we are back. Now, I wanted to, while we were here, I wanted to do a quick little look here. Let's see here. Uh, blue butterfly wing. Isn't that one of them? It just says butterfly wing, but I don't know if it says blue. Uh, oh, there we go. Regular butterfly wings. Okay, so we could take all four of those. And then let's grab blue mountain flower. All of ours, those. Alright, run downstairs. With a voice wielding power. All right, now supposedly. Believe, believe the hey, and then craft. An nice. Foes. Just because I thought it'd be an easy, cheesy way of leveling up, and so I just looked up a list of different ingredients that have restore health. What else we got? So that was all, the, all of our butterfly wings. We have blue dart wings. If we have any of those. Yeah, we have four of those For the darkness has and it makes us a regular health potion which is never a bad thing you'll know, you'll know the let's see come. yay look at that we discovered health it's almost like I knew huh it's almost like I knew you know so it's not like enchanting where you level up incredibly quickly because we have very low of uh yeah we have very low we have very low uh, in alchemy level, and it's still not going up very quickly. So it takes a lot, which makes sense because obviously it's the easiest thing in the world to group to find. Know what I mean? We are almost at 18, though. Plus, the good news is we're going to have a truck ton of health potions. What else we got? Hey, guys, did you know Daedra Heart restores health? Why you would waste a freaking Daedra Heart on a health potion is beyond me, but technically it does do that. All right, what else we got? Yeah, Daedra Heart. Daedra Heart, indeed. I don't even know where you find all those. All those. Uh, let's see. We have some ones in the S's. Let's see. To the S's, to the S's, to the S S S's. That does not roll off the tongue. Okay. Um, we have Swamp something or other. I don't know if I even have that. Oh, I have two of them. I got two of them. We're almost at 18 alchemy, so. Combine those. Yay! There you go. Uh, we did climb a little bit. Alright, how many potions are we at now? Alright, of uh, restore health, we have 13. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Okay. Mostly I was just, uh. I was just curious. We're not gonna hang on probably any more than that, but, uh, you know, just curious. We'll probably even put them back, just because I don't really need potions that badly. Potions! All of those, and I- are we still carrying that- that staff? Yes, we are. I accidentally forgot to put it back for some unknown reason. I have your sword and your shield. Excuse me. 
Alright, weapons. And staff. Don't need to carry that. Now, armor. We need new armor. Ooh, Stalhrim shield. Although Stalhrim is actually light armor, if you believe it. Let's see. We have a steel plate, which is heavy. Oh, we do have the Dawnguard armor. The Dawnguard armor is not bad. I don't know if we have excess Dwarven. We have Dwarven on my, on my little rack over there. Let's see. Nightingale hood. There's steel. Bone mold. Let's see. Thieves guild. Elven. Bone mold. Bone mold is heavy. See, that's the thing is I want more ancient... I, want, I would love to wear the ancient Nord armor set, but I don't think we're... I, I think we're missing, like... Almost all the pieces. Yeah, lots of lots of different helmets, that's for sure. Okay, ancient farmer. Alright, ring, ring, ring. Let's see. Alright, uh, let's see. Necklaces, eminent, eminent, eminent. Lots of necklaces. So many necklaces. Do I have anything that's not a necklace? Alright, there we go. We're, we're getting warmer. We're getting into actual armor now. Okay, so there's more ebony, but of course we're wearing that. So we could grab the hardened Falmer stuff. The Nordic carved stuff is cool, but I don't think I'd have all the pieces of that. And we have Orcish gauntlets and boots. If I have an Orcish chest piece, we might could try that. Uh, lots of steel plate options. Let's see. Yeah, we have actually have, we have a lot of steel plate. Dwarven Gauntlets, Falmer Hardened, Thieves Guild, Bone Mold, Steel Nordic, Vampire, Scaled, Thieves Guild, Nordic Carved Armor. I think I don't have Nordic Carved Bracers, though. Otherwise, we could wear that. No, yeah, Falmer Heavy Armor. We have, a, we have a set of that we could wear. Let's see. Uh, Shrouded, Elven, Dawnguard. Oh, I do have Orcish Armor. Okay, well, let's go ahead and grab that. Let's go back to the top. I had other orcish pieces. We could see how it looks. Maybe it, maybe it looks great. Who can say? Uh, orcish. Out of just pure curiosity. Wow, that looks awesome. That's great. I like that. Yeah, let's roll with that, man. Honestly, it would just be a nice change. Okay, so armor-wise, we can put back the ebony... Boots and gauntlets. Obviously, that is Daedric, and then we need to get rid of our mask as well. Plus, we need to improve the orc stuff that we're wearing. So, let's run up here. Let's put back all of this super fancy stuff. We have the ebony mail, and then we have Otar. Lovely. Now, what does it take to improve orcish stuff? Uh... It's the Ori Chalcum, or however you pronounce it. That's easy. Oh, I'm almost positive we'll have that. Oh yeah, we have we have that in space. I need three pieces. This goes from uh, 67 to 76. That's a lot better. 25 to 31, and 25 to 31. That's awesome. Boots, gauntlets, and armor. Obviously, we don't need a helmet because we're wearing the uh, ringlet. We're wearing the, the, the circlet, I mean. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. All right, beautiful. We got an armor change. That's exciting. Plus, it's a heavy armor, which is good because we need that uh, to ra raise the skill. Let's go ahead and give it a save. Now, I'm thinking now, let's go ahead and run to White Run. Uh, let's go talk to, maybe we'll try Farkas or Vilkas or somebody. Uh, let's go see if any one of them trains in, like, heavy armor or two-handed or something. And then let's see how much that is, and then let's see if we can buy it, and then we'll see if we, uh, feel like paying for it. <laughs> a lot of things to find out, but, uh, that could be a good way of leveling up. We will see. And as usual, we're gonna get there like a crazy man. He sleeps in a tent. When he's not yelling. I'm hoping these guys will just be inside here. Although, considering it's night, they might be asleep. Which, honestly, would be good. Because that would make it easier to find them. We'll have, you know. That would make it easier. But at least if they were inside, that'd be something. Hey, is that Vilkas? Vilkas, do you Maybe teach go. anything? I wouldn't have expected someone ah. like you to be the harbinger. But so, God let's see. So, he trains in two-handed. We could so learn two-handed. That wouldn't be terrible. What brings? It's all in the swing. Ah, and I can. It also costs like almost nothing. 
Yeah, man. Give me all of them. Now we're at 54 two-handed now. That's great. Yes! Also, I hear a helicopter outside. If you can hear it, sorry about that. Nothing I can do. Beautiful! Now that's progress. Lovely. Lovely! Okay. That's awesome. So there is. Uh, now we're good until the next level. Uh, okay. Let's probably uh, continue on with the main story. So now we are looking for Esburn in the Ratway. Luckily, I, we already know. I already know where he is. So, you know, never fear. Hey, here we are, in the Thieves Guild. We look awesome. The vampire, the dark, crazy, darkness and evil of our eyes. We look great. We look fabulous. Anyway, now deeper into the Ratway. Now, luckily, I know where he is. Just for aesthetics, let's carry our greatsword on our back, because we, then we look hardcore. Because then we look hardcore. Anyone who carries a sword that big is obviously someone to fear. Anyone. Anyone! Oh, I actually think it might tell you. Oh, no, it's not. It's highlighting that guy. I mean, we're already here. I guess we'll talk to him. I already know where he is, but whatever. Don't like those eyes you got. There's a bad hunger to them. You have no idea. Do you know of an old guy hiding out in Riften named Esburn? Lot of people looking for him. Don't know his name, but he's paid good money for nobody to know he's down here. He's holed up in the Ratway Warrens. Hardly ever leaves the place. Has someone bring him food and such. Crazy old coot from what I've heard. For that to stand out down here, he must really be off his nut. Uh-huh. Uh, where does he live? He's holed up in the Ratway Warrens. Be careful. Yeah, he just said that. What's the word around the guild? I haven't seen so much celebrating in years. Mercer is dead. We have a new guild master. That's me. And things are finally looking up. I only hope we can restore the guild to its former glory. After all the damage that's been done. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of work. Alright. He won't bother you anymore. It's a lot of work. But, uh, obviously it's work we're not doing. Ha <laughs> ha! Anyway. Anyway. Alright, luckily it is over here. Whoa! Alright, uh... Solterra is on. Good. Oh, you dodged it, you fool! Yeah, you better zap me, pal! Ugh, you're so out of reach. Whoop. Oh, there it, there it goes. Obviously, I was not impressed. Obviously. Plus, we're inside. So you guys are at a serious disadvantage because you didn't jump me in the daylight. You fools. How many torches do you need? Also, iron arrows, you filthy casual. Okay. Just quick update on the health situation. Mostly because it's an easy way of leveling. And that's like priority number one right now. There's a very dead Nord, but... <laughs> who cares? I didn't know the guy. Also, uh... Did we... Yeah. Ow. Don't worry, it's temporary. We, we need it. We need it. I need it. Take that, you Thalmor scumbags. Take that! That's true, we've gotten much more powerful. That dude was zapping the snot out of us, and it was doing absolutely nothing. We were getting much more powerful. He's like, it's not working! He's like, you're right, it's not working. You're really, you're really giving it your best shot. And it's just really not doing anything. Sucks to be you. I also forgot that the game actually tells you where he is. I was thinking for some reason that the game's like, find him stupid and like doesn't do anything, but it actually just legit Life. lights yes. it up. Book. Yes. Bucket. Yes. Ink pot. No. Uh. Horse meat. Alright, well, ignore the, ignore the crazy woman. Ignoring her. Knock, knock. Go away! Esbern, open the door, I'm a friend. What? No, that's not me, I'm not Esbern. The game says I don't says know so. what you're talking about. 
It's okay, Delphine sent me. Delphine? How do you... So, so you finally found her. And she led you to me. And here I am, caught like a rat in a trap. Uh, let's see, uh... Delphine needs your help to stop the dragons. So, Delphine keeps up the fight after all these years. Naturally. You'd better come in and tell me how you found me and what you want. Well, there you go. All I had to do was drop this her name. Just take a moment. This one always sticks. There we go. How many locks do you have in that door? Only a couple more. Dear God. He is paranoid. There we are. Come in, come in. Wait. Make yourself at home. Well, thank you. That's better. I was about to say, for safety, now let's make sure we close the door. So, Delphine keeps up the fight after all these years. Indeed. I thought she'd have realized it's hopeless by now. I tried to tell her years ago. What do you mean it's hopeless? Haven't you figured it out yet? What more needs to happen before you all wake up and see what's going on? Aldwin has returned, just like the prophecy said. I'm gonna deal with him. The dragon from the dawn of time, who devours the souls of the dead. No one can escape his hunger, here or in the afterlife. Aldwin Whoop, will devour sorry. all things, and the world will end. Nothing can stop him. Ah, I tried to tell them. They wouldn't listen. Fools. It's all come true. All I could do was watch our doom approach. Uh... Alduin, the dragon who's raising the others? Yes, yes. You see, you know, but you refuse to understand. You're talking about the literal end of the world? Oh, yes. It's all been foretold. The end has begun. Alduin has returned. Only a dragonborn can stop him. But no dragonborn has been known for centuries. It seems that the gods have grown tired of us. They've left us to our fate. They're having way too much fun to actually leave. All doing the world eater. Ugh, sorry, I want to get more adjusted. My shoulders are killing me. It's not hopeless, Esbern. I'm Dragonborn. What? You are? Can it really be true? Dragonborn? Oh, for sure. Then, then there is hope. The gods have not abandoned us. We must, we must, we must go quickly now. Take me to Delphine. We have much to discuss. But give me just a moment. I must gather a few things. Take your time. I'll need this. No. No use, Miss Crash. Where'd I put my annotated annual? I'm <laughs> perusing his stuff. Whoop! Don't sleep. Don't sleep, just loot. Uh, I think I already have glass boots, but I'll take him. You never know. And I have, mm, I know you know. Time exists, but mustn't leave secrets for the Thalmor. There's one more I must raise. I'm just looking for loot, pal. Well, you just do your thing. Not good enough. Let's be off. Absolutely. Just, uh... I'm, I'm, I'm all about it. All about the moving on and whatnot. Okay. Ink pot. Bucket. Good lord. I just heard like the world, the grunting of. Oh, good God! I'm coming for you, pal. Hang on, let me just, let me just, let me just pick this door. Don't you worry, dude. Don't you worry. I'm coming for you. Gotcha. Ah, you bug! How dare you raise that shield? Why did it have to be fire? Hang on, hang on. Uh. You know what? Sure. How's that for mercy? And you, Mr. Esburn, you were the one shooting the fireballs? I'm a vampire, you idiot. That hurt. That hurt. Man, he was lighting me on fire, and I was thought it was the Thalmor. It wasn't even the Thalmor. It was freaking Esburn. Friendly fire, you idiot. On, in a very literal sense. You have nothing I want. Alright, anyway. Uh, we can put that on my back. Pot, stone, 
Esburn has a lot of magic, though. He, like, freaking assassinated this Thalmor. I didn't even get a chance to do anything. So, you know, that's a thing. Odds are there'll be more evil along the way, but it doesn't matter. It don't matter. I ain't scared. I ain't scared. This way. Follow me, Esburn. Follow me. Fear not, I have done this before. Ooh. Look at these tiny little chests. I accidentally grabbed crap I didn't want. Hang on. I don't want those gauntlets. I already have. I already have some. I've also already looted this place, I'm pretty sure. We need nothing here. This way. I'm getting higher. Higher and higher. Here we are. Delphi. I, it's good to see you. It's been a long time. It's good to see you too, Esbern. It's been too long, old friend. Too long. Well, then. You made it safe and sound. Yup. Come on, I have a place we can talk. Orgnar, hold down the bar for a minute, will you? Yeah, sure. Walk, Esbern. This Thank way. you. It's like you're ruining the moment. Keep going, old man. Keep going. Like how it's just open all the time now. No need for secrecy! Also, steal. No fear. Could you? A little farther, please. Thank you. Alright. I'm ready now. Let's talk. Now then. I assume you know about... Oh, yes. Dragonborn. Indeed. Yes. That's well, me. This changes everything, of course. There's no time to lose. So we must locate. Let me show you. I know I had it here somewhere. Esbern, what? Give me just a moment. Oh. Ah, here it is. Come, let me show you. You see, right here, Skyhaven Temple. Constructed around one of the main Akabiri military camps in the Reach during their conquest of Skyrim. Do you know what he's talking about? Shh. Pretty good this idea. This is where they built Aldrin's Wall to set down and stone all their accumulated dragon lore. A hedge against the forgetfulness of centuries. A wise and foresighted policy in the event. Despite the far reaching fame of Aldrin's Wall at the time, one of the wonders of the ancient world. Its location was lost. Esbern, what are you getting at? You mean, you don't mean to say you haven't heard of Alduin's Wall? I have. Either of you? Let's pretend we haven't. What's Alduin's Wall, and what does it have to do with stopping the dragons? Alduin's Wall was where the ancient blades recorded all they knew of Alduin and his return. Part history, part prophecy. His location has been lost for centuries, but I have found it again. Not lost, you see, just forgotten. The Blades archives held so many secrets. I was only able to save a few scraps. So you think that Alduin's wall will tell us how to defeat Alduin? Well, yes, but there's no guarantee, of course. Skyhaven Temple it is, then. I knew you'd have something for us, Esbern. I know the area of the Reach that Esbern's talking about, near what's now known as Karth Spire in the Karth River Canyon. We can meet you there, or all travel together. Your call. Definitely meet me there. I'll meet you there. Your call. Might be safer to travel separately. Attract less attention that way. Don't worry. I'll get Esbern there in one piece. We'll wait for you near Karth Spire. Good luck. Good luck to you. I'm the Dragonborn. I don't need luck. And I don't want to travel together because you peons are going to slow me down. Going to slow me down. You want to go? You pathetic little peon. Nice whiff, idiot. Dead. Yeah, you want to die, miss? Keep going, though, dude. I believe you. Hey, you finally got me. Are you proud? You're lucky it's daylight. Dead. Just came up and beat you to death. All right, uh, thanks for that. 
Alright, so, the soul gem wasn't large enough, but she did revive anyway. Alright, purse. Uh. You're fine, Forsworn lady, shut up. Okay. Actually, you know what, this will be easier if I just do this. I just want to search your body and be done with it. Thank you. Okay, anyway, on to Karthspire. Luckily, it's not far away. If there's more uh, Forsworn bopping around here, I will probably just go Vampire Lord and massacre them all. Because it'll be easier. It'll be easier. There is actually a big old Forsworn camp up here, I think. Yup. Yes, there is. Oh, it's actually all kind of part of the same big old group anyway, so probably would be easier just to go Vampire Lord and kill them all. My only issue is I'm worried that, like, Delphine and Esbern are going to throw a fit if I go Vampire Lord. I'll probably risk it, to be honest. And then we'll save it here in case it's a bad idea. Because then if they do hate it, then we will, uh, you know, come up with a different plan. But if they don't, then, you know, doesn't even matter. Alright, let's do it. Ah, oh, the daylight. Why? Water won't stop me. Knock, knock. Well, well, look who it is. Oh, that's Esbern. Alright, so yeah, they do hate it, as it turns out. Turns out they actually are in this area, as a matter of fact. See, this is why I'm happy I saved it. Okay, so yeah, they, uh, Esbern and Delphine are in the area, and they don't like the fact that I went Vampire Lord. So it's fine, I have an alternative plan. It is daylight, which is unfortunate, but it's okay, because we have an alternative plan. Exactly, my big dragon buddy. Come on then, let's go. Hopefully he actually comes and attacks my enemies here. We'll find out. Ah, here he comes. He knows I'm a vampire. Quickly, eat him, eat him. Ow. Attack Durdevere, kill them all. Well, he's maybe he maybe he's scaring them, I don't know. Ah, that's a cool power, slow motion flight. <laughs> Well, Delphine and Esbern are doing pretty good, all things considered. Wow, they're like summoning things. Dernavir is, is summoning bone men and flying in slow motion like a AC-130. Yeah, Dernavir is summoning all these bone men to help us out. It's going well. Whoa! Oh, well, he he ain't dead. He's just he was paralyzed with fear. But don't worry, he he's over it. He's fine. I'm gonna get that little coin first. All right, hang on. I put I didn't. Not only did I not get the coin first, but I picked up all this garbage that I didn't care didn't care about, like a pitchfork and two spigots. Guys, please. We have other issues right now. Ah! Dernavir! Assist- Oh, that's a blood dragon! 
That one's not mine. He's almost dead and I didn't even do anything. And now he's dead. Dernavere is uh, slaying right now though. I wasn't shooting because I thought he was mine. Yes, give me, give me, give me. Uh, I'll take all of those. I don't even have any bow. Yay! Yeah. Take those. I don't need that or that. Oh, I wonder if getting Dwarven Armor might be a good idea, because maybe, maybe we could improve it. I don't think I had any extras, so that's actually not bad. Well, that was interesting. Lots, There's a lot going on right now. Dernavir, I felt like he actually was helpful, despite what it might look like. Mo mostly because Dernavir was summoning lots of bonemen. So, you know, I feel like it's been going better than it might might appear. They didn't like the whole vampire lord thing, but he's stuck on a wall. Ignore him. What are this? Let's keep moving. You keep moving, scrub lord. I'm just doing my thing. Ooh. All right, I fell. Looks like we're going underwater. All right, let's try this again, but this time by staying up above. All right, looks like, yeah, this way. Well, you know, I think that went pretty, pretty well, I would say. Got lots of kills, got lots of good shots with the bow on that one. I think that went pretty well. Got to summon Dernavir, and he was summoning lots of bone men, which is, which is cool. I don't know if he... I didn't really see him swooping down. Plus, I got attacked by a blood dragon somewhere in there. So, I'm not sure when Dur Durnavir left versus when the blood dragon arrived. I really don't know. A little hard to tell. Alright, we're going to be dealing with company up ahead. Now you're mine. Wow, I one shot of that Briarheart. Are you guys, are you guys proud? Are you proud of me yet? How about that? You guys got one little forsworn. Are you, pr are you proud? They're like, yay, we did it. I was like, it was one forsworn. I've been slain armies of them dudes. Are there anything other uh, potions lying around? Ooh. Well, you know. The uh, the healing potion was good. The rest of that's pretty meh. I, I'm pretty I'm pretty proud that I one shot at that that uh, Briarheart. Now it was a power attack, but still, those you know those are usually pretty tough guys. Are we getting there? These pillars must have something to do with it. Yes, these are Akaviri symbols. Mm -hmm. Here, let's see. You had this symbol for king. Warrior, and of course the symbol for Dragonborn. That's the one that appears to have a sort of arrow shape pointing downward at the bottom. Um. Yes, that's it. The symbol on the middle pillar. You think this was like make them match? Whatever you did, you worked. Oh. Let's see what those old blades left. I did it. I'm a genius. <laughs> I was just sort of bumbling around, just kind of hitting it. So <laughs> it's like, I don't know if this is right or. Oh, hang on, hang on. I remember this, I think. Literally, like Indiana Jones, guys. You gotta. You're like, have to spell a name. But, uh, you know, gotta spell a name, but like written in like ancient Greek or something you know it's like it's like t the third indiana jones movie <laughs> just gotta step on the dragonborn symbols and ignore the other one oop almost stepped on it we're good what was this a dead end oh no why are you stopping you should be careful here. see these symbols on the floor 
Esmond's right. Look like pressure plates. New cross, Richards. Be careful. You be careful. I'm unsure. Oh, okay. I was gonna say I don't know what the what I'm supposed to be doing here. I did it again! I am a puzzle master. <laughs> it's like the simplest puzzles in the universe. But hey, that's fine. Skyhaven Temple. Ooh, a chest. Eb uh, Ebony Warhammer of Stunning. Sure. Mostly just for the meme. I'll take it. Mostly just as a, as a prize to prove that I did. Wonderful. Remarkably well preserved. Happy I got- I'm happy the little blood splots, you know, off my face are gone. That's nice. Makes me look even cooler now. Oh, here's the blood seal. Another of the lost no Kabiri arts. No doubt triggered by, well, blood. No kidding. Your blood, Dragonborn. Big surprise there. Look here. You see how the ancient blades revered for you and She's like, I would love to cut you. It's like, oh, shut up. I don't need your help, Delphine. Cuts through my, uh, cuts through my gauntlet. Don't worry about it. Oh. You're right, I should. I should have the honor. I am more important than you two. <laughs> You're right, I should. Okay. You peons can follow me. Into the temple. Fancy. I mean, you know, it's very ancient. And look, Alduin's wall. It's big, it's large, it's ancient. It's also very dark. Don't worry, the... The peons will catch up. Here, I'll just for the cinematics here. Beautiful, right there. Now we just, now we wait for my idiots to catch up. I mean, my, my com compadres. My companions. My favorite fools. You guys coming or what? No, here they come. They're coming. They're also yakking on, and to be fair, I am, all, I am completely ignoring them. That it's like, Dragonborn, what are you doing? It's like, you know, admiring. It's an ancient temple. I'm the Dragonborn. I'm admiring Alduin's wall. Look at it in all its glory. It's ancient. It's wonderful. You coming or what? I mean, I'm going to go with or what, but yeah, you know, kind of. Here they come. Oh, the sculptural integrity. It's so good. Yeah, Shut up, Delphine. Let's see what we have. Delphine's like, we need information, not, not an art lesson or whatever. It's like, Shut up, Delphine. He's, he's kind of off camera. Look, Here he comes. Here Masters of the voice are arrayed against him. So does it show how they defeated him? Isn't that why we're here? Ah, patience, if you will. The Akaviri were not a straightforward people. Everything is couched in allegory, mythic symbol. Yes, yes. This here, coming from the mouths of the Nord heroes, this is the Akaviri symbol for shout. But there's no way to know what shout. You mean they used a shout to defeat Alduin? You're sure? Hmm? Oh, yes. Presumably something rather specific to Dragon. Or even Alduin himself. Remember, 
This is where they recorded all the news of all the way. So we're looking for a shout then. Damn it. Oh, don't you be all upset. That's perfect. Oh, you, you want me to get down? You ever heard of such a thing? Oh, no. A shout oh, yeah. that can knock a dragon out of the sky? The Greybeards might know. You're probably right. I was hoping to avoid having to involve them in this, but it seems we have no choice. What do you have against the Greybeards? If they had their way, you do nothing but sit up on their mountain with them and talk to the sky or whatever it is they do. Oh, shut up. The Greybeards are so afraid of power that they won't use it. Think about it. Have they tried to stop the Civil War or done anything about Alduin? They're like freaking no. Jedi. Shut up, and Delphine. they're afraid of you, of your power. Trust me, there is no need to be afraid. Think of Tiber Septim. Do you think he'd have founded the Empire if he'd listened to the Greybeards? I think I'm not interested in your stupid opinion. Uh, the Greybeards may have a point. Power is dangerous, especially when controlled by idiots like you. Only if you don't know how to use it. All the great heroes have had to learn to use their power. Those that shrank from their destiny. Well, you've never heard of them, have you? And there are the villains, those that misused their power. There's always a choice, and there's always a risk. But if you live in fear of what might go wrong, you'll end up doing nothing. Like the Greybeards up on their mountain. Oh, shut up, Delphine. I better go see what Anger knows about this shout. Right. Good thing they've already let you into their little cult. Not likely they'd help Esbern or me if we came crawling. If I was them, I'd we'll shout you off the edge of the mountain. The temple and see what else the old blades might have left for us. It's a better hideout than I could have hoped for. Talos, guard you. Look here. The <laughs> Delphine is so irritating, dude. There, you are. You are lucky that the Greybeards are not a vengeful people. Cause let me tell you, if I was the Greybeards, I would fusro da her ass off the edge of, off the edge of the mountain. I would. She's so frustrating. Just like, they're, you know, afraid of their own power. Like, you do realize that when people like you are in charge, are we outside? Can I just warp out of here? Uh, I might be able to. Anyway, if people like Delphine are in charge, they're the reason that, like, you know, they're like, oh, look, we accidentally cracked a hole in the sky or whatever. Like, you know, people like her are the reason that things go wrong. And the Greybeards are like freaking Jedi. Like, just let it happen, okay? You know, you're lucky that they're not a vengeful, aggressive, power-hungry people. You are lucky, because they, because, you know. Yeah. When power gets abused, you get people like Ulfric Stormcloak. Who shouts the, his, who shouts, you know, the king into the wall and breaks him into pieces. That's what happens when people with shouts who have no ability to control it. You're lucky that the Greybeards are not power-hungry. And I like them a heck of a lot more than I like Delphine, I'll tell you that. i tell you that. Master Jedi, I mean Iron Gear. Sky, guard you. I need to actually. Have you looked at any words of power? We have felt the whisper of a word. I'll take that first. Give me your map, and I will show you where its echo. Comes Perfect. From. Thank you. Okay, I need to learn the shout to defeat Alduin. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? Some idiots that I can't help but I have to associate with. Uh, it was recorded on Alduin's wall. The blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Tell me the about reckless it. Reckless arrogance knows no bounds. Too they real. They always sought to turn the dragonborn from the path of wisdom. I know. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the blades to be used for their own purposes? Hey, I hate them, dude. Uh, let's see. Uh, I mean, he is kind of keeping secrets from me. The blades are helping me. I am not their puppet. I am not being controlled, that's for sure. No, no, of course not. Forgive me, Dragonborn. I have been intemperate with you. Thank but you. heed my warning. The blades may say they serve the Dragonborn, but they do not. They never have. I totally believe you. So, can you teach me this shout? No. I cannot teach it to you, because I do not know it. It is called Dragonrend. But its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrend holds no place within the way of the voice. Uh, let's see. What's so bad about Dragonrend? It was created by those who had lived 
under the unimaginable cruelty of Alduin's dragon cult. Their whole lives were consumed with hatred for dragons, and they poured all their anger and hatred into this Dude, shout. it's the dark side. When you learn a shout, you take it into your very being. In a sense, you become the shout. In order to learn and use this shout, you will be taking this evil into yourself. I'm not scared of the dark side. Let's do it. Uh, I thought you actually... If the shout is lost, how can I defeat Alduin? Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question. If he so chooses. And I need to speak to Parthenax, then. You weren't ready. You still aren't ready. Come on, dude. I need this. But, thanks to the blades, you now have questions that only Parthenax can answer. Thank you. Uh, why haven't I met him yet? He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely, and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. Well, I am the Dragonborn. Uh, how do I get to the top of the mountain to see him? Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. Lovely. Let's do it. After you, Masters Arngir and Wolfgar, Master Jedi. <laughs> Come on, tell me these guys don't remind you of Jedi Masters. You know they do. You know they do. And the fact that I even like them blows my mind, considering how Jedi-like they are. It's really surprising for someone who's a Sith fanboy like myself. Anyway, not the point. The point is, I like these guys because why? They're not the Blades, and I like that. And the Blades piss me off. I don't like them. I mean... Mostly Delphine, because she's just been stuck in this inn for, like, whatever, 30 years. And she thinks she is the hottest thing to walk the earth. Gentlemen, okay, I was about to say, what's happening? Anyway, but, uh, yeah, she's, uh, she's an idiot. She's an idiot. Don't like her. Hate her. Always have. And, uh, Esbert, I don't mind. He's just this crazy old dude. I don't really care. But I, but I, but I hate Delphine a lot. And I like these guys. At least I feel like we're on this, we're on the same team here. With Delphine, I don't. I feel like the... That she's trying to just use me to further her own ends. She's blind is what she is. She's not like these guys. You know, wise like Jedi. She is short-sighted and I don't like her. Ooh, you see that? The pass to the top of the mountain. To go see Parthenax, the great leader. Ooh, and a fancy fire. It's so cinematic. Also, the freaking Tower of Sauron over here. The path to Parthenax lies through this gate. I see it. I will show you how to open the way. Please do, Master Jedi. Sorry, got a little too close. I'm ready. Look. Clear skies. Teach me. Ah. Uno, there's Dos. Tres. Learn sky. Clear skies. There's number two. Spring clear skies. And the third one. Summer clear skies. Of clear skies. This is your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. Thank you, Master Arngear. Master Jedi. Oh. Clear skies will blow away the mist, but only for a time. I understand. The path to Parthenax is perilous, not to be embarked upon lightly. Keep moving, stay focused on your goal, and you will reach the summit. Thanks, bro. Thank you, Master Arn uh, Arngear. Hang on, is this anything special? Other than a sweet view. Not really. Ooh. That's <laughs> Skyrim as if I'm not I'm not in Skyrim already. Anyway. Interesting. Alright, let's do this, people. You guys ready? To the top of the mountain. Uh clear skies. It also costs like nothing, right? Yeah, clear skies. See at the top level it's only twelve. As you can see, it costs like nothing. No? All right, let, let's do this. Oh, it is daylight. I'm not regening. Look! Oops. 
I don't think I hit it twice. I don't think I hit all three of them on that one. I take full responsibility. Look, there is uh, ore over here. Hang on. Uh, you, and then you. Give me the silver. All right, there we go. Continue. Look. This goat's like, thank you. I've been stuck at the top of the mountain forever. I was like, I'm sorry, dude. That's that's rough. I feel your pain. Look. Oh, why? Of all things, why? You stay away from me, you ugly thing. At least that one was easy to see, but I hate Ice Race, like, more than anything. I hate them. Let's just keep my daggers ready. Just in case more of them little buggers show up. Oh, speaking of, speaking of the devil. Oh, thank heavens, it's only a troll. Thank heavens. Nice dodge, Mr. Troll. Aha. Dead. Take all that, thank you. Hang on, as if you didn't think I saw that. Oh, please. Give me the ore. Nice. Dang it. Alright, continuing on. We should actually give it a save, just in case I fall off the mountain. Look. To the top of the mountain. Apparently creatures here are immune to this, you know, cold wind of death or whatever. Like goats. The goats aren't scared of this perilous trip of the mountain. Neither are ice race or trolls. Just people. Apparently. Maybe it's some sort of like force field of. Ah! You stay away from me! Where'd he go? There he is. Blech. I hate them things. Literally the worst. I don't even know where the loot is. Don't care. We're leaving. It doesn't matter at all. Look. The goat's like, ah! It's like, relax, goat. I don't care about you. Stay away from me, goat. We're almost there. I can feel it. We are almost there. We're getting close. Oh man, I feel like this elevation's high enough, it's hard to breathe up here. Oh, I gotta, I gotta change position, my back's killing me too. Oh, the good news is my shoulders hurt a little less, but now my back and my neck hurt. It's on, it's just, it's a, it's a cruel, it's a cruel, it's a cruel cycle, there's no escape. Okay, we will give it a save before we, uh, try to go through this. Alright, I feel like, I think this is like the final stretch of the mountain. No. Uh, don't worry. Don't worry. It's fine. I got a little close before I cleared it. That's why. I'm pretty sure. Throat of the world. We did it. Hi. Drem Yolok. Greetings. Wundunik, I am Parthenax. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? Uh, I wasn't expecting you to be a dragon. I am as my father Akatosh made me, as are you, Dovakin. Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? I need to learn the Dragon Wrench out. Can you teach me? Hmm. Drem. 
patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my thoom. Feel it in your bo- Just in case. Uh... Match it if you are Dover King. Oh, I'm ready, bro. The word calls you. Go to it. Sure. I want it, whatever it is. Is it fire related? Learned Inferno Fire Breath. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I would love to, bro. Ooh, he's gonna give it to me for free. Yes. Dude, we got level two fire shout now. I'm so happy. Do not be okay, uh, fire breath, fire breath, fire breath. In Fasnu, let me feel the power of your thumb. All right, I'm ready. Yeah, you like that? So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dova Sos, Dragon Blood. Yeah, well, I'm out of the ordinary. What would you ask of me? Can you teach me the Dragon Wrench out? Ah, I have expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No. You seek your weapon against Alduin. Yeah, I need to t stop him from destroying the world. Okay, uh, how did you know I came for Dragonrend? Alduin comate teed. What else would you seek? All right, that's fine. Alduin and Dovakin return together. Oh, we're linked. But I do not know the Thum you seek. Croesus. It cannot be known to me. I guess that's fair. You are a dragon. Your kind, Jaw, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds, cannot even comprehend its concepts. Uh, how can I learn it then? Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this, Thum? To stop Alduin from destroying the world? <laughs> I like this world. I don't want it to end. Prusa, as good a reason as any. How can I, do, how can I rule it if I destroy it? feel as you do, although not all. Some would say that all things must end, so that the next can come to pass. I'm not doing this philo philosophical thing, Perhaps dude. Perhaps this world is simply the egg of the next Kalpa? Lean Vokin? Would you stop the next world from being born? I'm only worried about the one I live in, bro. The next world will have to take care of itself. Pause. A fair answer. There you go. Attaboy. Rofus, maybe you only balance the forces that work to quicken the end of this world. Even we who ride the currents of time cannot see past time's end. Wulsetid los traodis. Those who try to hasten the end may delay it. Those who work to delay the end may bring it closer. I'm not doing this philosophy thing, dude. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus, now I will answer your question. Thank you. Hmm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monavin, what you name Throat of the World? Because it has a great view? Uh, <laughs> no, no. Dragons like mountains, right? Mm, true. 
but few now remember that this was the very spot where Alduin was defeated by the ancient tongues. Varucht Unslad. Perhaps none but me now remember how he was defeated. Using the Dragon Run shout, right? Mm, yes and no. Viknuzni Karon. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. That's fair. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Ok Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, you s <laughs> what's that I say as I'm carrying three of them in my inventory? Are you saying the ancient Nords use Alduin sent Alduin forward in time? Yeah, because they did. Because it's like they're like, yeah, we can't beat him, so we're just gonna send him to a different time, so it's someone else's problem. Mm, not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. Maye. Well, it wasn't their problem anymore, right, Shrug? I knew better. Tidbo Amativ, time flows ever onward. One day, he would surface. And here we are. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. Uh, let's see. How does any of this help me? Tid Krent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Tid Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. I have the Elder Scroll. I'm literally already carrying three of them. You have it. The Kel, the Elder Scroll, Tidkre, Kalos. They're like, hey, you did it. Like, how? Oh, high five. Shudders at its touch. There is no question. You are doom driven. Kogan Akatosh. The very bones of the earth are at your disposal. Sweet. Go then. Fulfill your destiny. Take the scroll to the time wound. Do not delay. Alduin will be coming. He cannot miss the signs. And he's gonna be pissed. Alright. So this is the time wound. As you can see, it's this, like, pillar of weirdness. That's what it is. But first, we have to sidetrack. Heaven's above. Alright. He just landed on the- he landed on the rock. He's fine. Um, I wanted to see, though. I know somewhere up here. I don't know where it is. Somewhere up here, there's this little sweet Easter egg, and I want to see if I can find it for you guys. And I know it's at this very tippity top, but I don't totally remember where. Uh, mostly because, like, I almost never go for it, because it's just- it's just, uh, it's just a cool reference, but, you know, once you see it, you've kind of seen it. Let's see. Ugh. Ugh. I know it's up here somewhere. It'll be, it'll be cool when you see it. Don't you worry. It'll be worth it. I'll be like, yeah, it better be. Aha! Or No, they're like, really? You did that for ore? I'm like, well, yes, but there's more than just ore. There's also ebony ore up here. I feel like I've gone the wrong way. <laughs> Please, give it to me. 
Ugh. Okay. I know it's up here. It's not just the ore. There's more to it than the ore. Oh, there we go. Check it out. The notched pickaxe. You guys want to see something cool? Get it? Notched pickaxe? Minecraft? It's a pickaxe? The dude who made it, was his name was, name was Notch? Bertigola! It also it raises the wielder's smithing abilities and does five points of shock damage to enemies when hit. So that's pretty cool. Obviously, we're only using it for, you know, to mine ore. But that's pretty cool, huh? So yeah, there. Uh, if you go to the top of the throat of the world, the very top, there is a fancy pickaxe called the Notched Pickaxe. In reference to Minecraft. It's awesome. Also, there is ebony ore up here, and there's malachite. Very cool. I'm not saying Malachite. I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce it. I like Malachite because it sounds better. Malachite sounds stupid. There you go. There was a lot of good ore up here. But the cool thing is we got our fancy... Uh, we got the notched pickaxe, which is just a cool little Easter egg that we'll just store it at, store it at the house and just to say we own it. Plus, there's some good ore up there, so that's, so that's worth it. All right, let's go ahead and get down here. Let's give it a save now that we did that, and then we will uh, figure out time-wise what we have time for, and we'll just have to see. Okay, so time-wise, what time is it? it? We're at 1.49. I would think I'd prefer to do this at the start of the next episode. Alduin's Bane. So I'm pretty sure this is where things get real, is in this mission. Uh, we're getting... We're getting... We are hot on the trail of the main quest here. So, uh... You know. You know. So I think I'd prefer to hit that at the start of the next quest there. But we did give it a save. I think one good idea will be run back to the house and drop our inventory. Because we're holding several sets of armor and things. And I, let's, I'd prefer to just get all that dropped. So that's probably a good idea, no? Probably a good idea, no? Okay, so let's, let's run back to the house. We are getting very close to... Uh, yeah, we are hot on the trail of getting missions done, of the main quest. The, I would say the end is in sight, but I feel like it's the home stretch. There is several missions and things to do yet, but we're on the right track. Ah, just I've the man I was you. looking for. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Mm-hmm. Let's see here. Word of power? Not sure yep, who friend come. of yours. He wouldn't say, just that he was a friend of yours. Beautiful. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Thanks, courier man. All right, what what get? Letter from a friend. Forsaken cave. Cause of sir, when you demonstrate the power of your thumb. Huh? I like how this one. It doesn't tell you where. It just says when you sit, when you bit of a stir in, and it's just like this weird space. When you demonstrated the power of your thumb, it's like the game didn't even know where I was. However, the uh, forsaken cave is where where we will find another word of power. What? Stupid wolf. You okay there, courier man? Don't let the wolf scare you, dude. It's just one wolf. I just one shot at him. It's fine. You know, calm yourself, Iago, as the reference goes. Calm yourself, Iago. Okay, so let's hop in here and then let's drop the inventory and then we'll uh, figure out where we're at. I do like the orcish armor, though. I am digging the orcish armor. Uh, okay, let's see. Dwarven, glass boots. Okay, I know those two are getting dropped. And... Yeah, I have a couple of those. Sapphire. Okay. And then over here... We have mining stuff, and I know we have... We have, uh... Do have mining stuff because of... Yeah, six of those. Leather strips. Malachite. Ori chalcum. Silver. Some pelts. Steel. Which is good, because steel is one of those things that you don't have very often. And then we have a Warhammer. And then we have for uh, Forsworn, Iron. That is a quest item. I can't get rid of it. The Notched Pickaxe. Just uh, just to say we own it. It's just cool. We don't need it, but it's cool. Apparel. We have Dwarven Armor. Glass Boots. And then over here. Over here. Uh, what is this? Isn't this potions? Potions. Yes, it is. Potions, potions. Potions, potion, 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 potion. Don't need that. And then all those. Lovely. I wonder if we should wear dwarven armor next. 
We'll wear the orcish for a while, but maybe at the start of the next episode. Maybe we'll, uh... I wonder if we have enough to make a potion. Ah, oh, we do have a restore health potion. Nice. Ooh, and we also got... It's also fortify health. That's cool. Anyway, whatever we can do to, to raise the skill, you know what I mean. Yeah, fortify health. I don't care so much for the fortify health as I do for the uh, restore health, but it was worth it, of course, because it helped level us up, so. Okay, um, what the heck is this? Isn't this soul gems? Soul gems, yes. Soul gems, okay, so obviously we're carrying those for a reason, but anything else. Okay, we don't have any soul gems to drop off. Ingredients. We do have those. And then letters we now have the letter from a friend otherwise nothing new okay i think that's everything uh yeah well, we still have this but i don't know what that's for we could google it if i did get tired of seeing it in our inventory we could google it all right let's go ahead and give this a save beautiful all right well i think this episode might be just a tad shorter um Honestly, it's because I'm really hungry and I want to go eat. <laughs> that's, in all honesty, that's the real reason, is because I am starving and uh, I am wasting away. And my blood sugar is now plummeting, so I'm starting to shake. So, the onset of passing out is here, so I need to go eat for blood sugar. However, uh, we might as well just have this be a fine place to call it. So, the point is, I don't. Uh, this will hopefully be out before Christmas, that's the goal. I don't know if it'll be out Monday or today, Monday, or if it'll be out tomorrow, Christmas Eve, but it'll be out sometime. Uh, the ending portion of this week will be, I'm gonna try to record whatever I can, uh, probably at the start of the next episode for Skyrim here, we will be focusing on uh, opening the Elder Scroll and Probably just powering out the main the main story, to be honest, is most likely what will be happening there, and uh, that'll be pretty cool. So yeah, lots of good stuff coming, and uh, hope you guys have a very happy holidays, enjoy Christmas, be safe, have a good time, and we will see each other again uh, sometime after Christmas. Anyway, that is going to call for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the content today, and we will talk to you guys later.